So yeah, let me close this back up. I'm just gonna remove this. This is the dark slide apparently. Yep. Uh, now I'll see you guys outside. All right. So I have my Blu-ray camera. And I guess I'm just gonna take my first picture of something. I have no idea what I'm gonna photograph, but I don't know. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. Yep. So, let's go. so I think these trees actually look quite nice. Um, these flowers right here. They look quite nice too. So I think I'm gonna try and do. Yeah, but there's like a certain type of focal distance. There's also this leaf pile. Um, yeah, I just like these trees a lot. I might have to do those. So I may take pictures of those. I am developing the first pocket right and I'm just gonna put it in my pocket if it fits well it doesn't fit I'm gonna put it in my back pocket there we go so this is my cat I may try to take pictures of her maybe I don't really know but this was actually quite fun so first things I thought like the camera wasn't working when I pressed the shutter but apparently you, you really need to press it on like these digital cameras and then the viewfinder actually works quite well right now it's overexposed as you guys can see but look let me show you guys the auto on this thing is really trash but there you go, she is taking a bath in the dirt. So I think I'm gonna try and look at the picture and then see what I need to change. So I'll see you guys back when I'm done. All right, so the picture's pretty much almost developed. Um, so yeah, this is the picture. I don't really know if I if it's gonna stay like this or still needs to develop a little more but it actually looks quite nice I might try to do some type of self-portrait but you know that's actually quite complicated but I might try but I have no idea how I'm gonna position myself or anything like that but yeah this is the first picture and now let's go ahead and try to do the second picture and my cat is still there so I actually wanted to do a self portrait but the thing is these cameras do not have timers so I just I just barely noticed that since I'm used to shooting with digital all the time but you know this is the camera it looks quite nice it's actually quite nice but unfortunately I might need some type of model or something so yeah so actually there's this building here and it actually looks quite nice so I'm gonna try and take a picture of it without under exposing it so or over exposing it so yeah
Alright, so I just took the picture of that in my pocket. And now we are going to see how this Polaroid performs in these types of situations. So I just wanted to do two uh, for now because I don't know if I was gonna mess up or or if I wanna take pictures later because film is really expensive. Each little shot costs about uh, $2, $2.50 about there. So yeah. But my overall thoughts on this camera. So pretty much the viewfinder is actually pretty accurate. So it's good composing the pictures with this unlike some other cameras which are trash. Um, the flash, I don't think I ever use this so I don't know about that. The autofocus is good and I don't know if you guys could see this but there's actually a scratch on my lens. I was scared that maybe the camera would try to focus on the little scratch. Since I got it at a thrift store for like literally almost a third or half the price of what they usually cost um you know it's not going to be the best quality but the autofocus which is this thing i think works quite well there's also this little thing right here which i don't know what this is and then there's this thing which is the exposure this one is actually pretty accurate too um so yeah this camera is actually quite good all you need to do is put in film and then it starts charging almost immediately and it works quite well and this is where you open it and then this is the no flash shutter and this is the flash shutter i believe and then i don't know what these little buttons right here do and then the bottom is just like that and then it actually came with strap too which is actually quite long for my body so yeah so yeah, this is my review on it. So this is the first one. Um, it's not horrible or anything like that. It's actually pretty good. Let me try to find some shade. And there we go. And then, so this is the second one. This one actually came out quite underexposed. Overexposed, sorry. And as you guys can see, there's actually some light leaks, which give it some texture sometimes, but these light leaks look ugly, actually. They look like bird poop, literally. Like, what is that? Um, and also, it's a little bit unfocused, which actually does give it some texture. It makes it seem like the trees are actually moving. So I'm not too mad about that. But I actually like this one. I like them both. They're very abstract. Um, I need to try and find a shadier spot. I'm getting way too much reflection. So yeah. So this is the first. And this is the second one. So yeah. Hopefully you guys like the pictures. I might post them on my Instagram and whatnot. So yeah. These are the two pictures I got today. If you guys want to see more Polaroid photography, let me know. So yeah. Thanks for watching.